Hello students, in this video we will learn exercise 10.2, question number 1. Compute the magnitude of the following vectors. Here we are given with 3 vectors, these A vector, B vector and C vector. We are going to compute magnitude for these 3 vectors. We already know that if R vector is equal to X i cap plus Y j cap plus Z k cap, in this x, y and z are scalar components. Scalar components of R vector. And x, i cap, y, j cap and z, k cap are vector components of R vector. Then its magnitude will be magnitude of R vector is equal to sum of squares of scalar components. Here the scalar components are x, y, z. So sum of squares of scalar components. That is x square plus y square plus z square under the root will be the magnitude of R vector. So, magnitude of our A vector will be, we have to write between the bars like this. Magnitude of A vector is equal to, here the scalar components of A vector is 1, 1 and 1. So, we are going to write like this, root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square. We already know that 1 square is 1. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So, root of 3. Next, we are going to find magnitude of B vector. Magnitude of B vector is equal to root of sum of squares of the scalar components. Here in the B vector, the scalar components are 2, minus 7 and minus 3. So, 2 square plus minus 7 the whole square plus minus 3 the whole square is equal to 2 square is 4 and minus 7 square is plus 49 and minus 3 square is plus 9. So if you add 4 plus 49 plus 9 we will get 62. So root 62 is the magnitude of B vector. Similarly magnitude of C vector is equal to root of 1 by root 3 the whole square plus 1 by root 3 the whole square plus minus 1 by root 3 the whole square. Which is equal to root of 1 by root 3 the whole square is nothing but 1 by 3. 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus minus 1 by root 3 the whole square also 1 by 3 only. So if you add 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 we will get 3 by 3 which is nothing but 1 root 1 is 1. So, magnitude of C vector is 1. Question number 2. Write two different vectors having same magnitude. Let us consider the vector A vector as I cap plus 2J cap plus 3K cap and B vector as 2i cap minus j cap minus 3k cap. Let us find the magnitude for a vector and b vector. Magnitude of a vector is equal to root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. 
वन प्लस फोर प्लस नाइन एस फोर्टीन टू फोर्टीन सिमिलरली विल फाइंड मैग्नीट्यू फॉर बी वेक्टर रूट ऑफ टू स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस वन स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर विच इज इक्वल टू टू स्क्वायर इज फोर एंड माइनस वन स्क्वायर इज वन एंड माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन इफ यू एड फोर वन एंड नाइन विल गेट फोर्टीन फोर्टीन इफ यू अब्जर्व द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ए वेक्टर एंड बी वेक्टर दे आर सेम बोथ आर रूट फोर्टीन सो दीज टू वेक्टर्स दीज ए वेक्टर एंड बी वेक्टर्स आर द टू वेक्टर्स आर हैविंग हैविंग सेम मैग्नीट्यूड and these two vectors are different because they are in different direction they are having different directions question number 3 write two vectors having same directions we are going to write any two vectors which are having same direction when two vectors are said to be have same direction means if they are having the direction cosines same so we'll consider two vectors first let us consider p vector is equal to i cap plus j cap plus k cap and q vector is equal to 2 i cap plus 2 j cap Plus two k cap. We are going to say these two vectors are having same direction. So for this, first we'll find the direction cosines. So the direction cosines of p vector are given by. Yell is equal to. scalar component of i cap we are having scalar component of i cap for the vector p vector is 1 so 1 by root of sum of squares of the scalar components of i cap j cap plus k cap so all the scalar components of i cap j cap and k cap are one only so 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square will be 1 by One square plus one square plus one square is three, so root three. Similarly, we'll find direction cosines. Ym is equal to one by root of one square plus one square plus one square, which is equal to one by again root three only. Next, we'll find n is equal to scalar component of k vector is 1 divide by root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square which is equal to 1 by 2 3 similarly we will find direction cosines of q vector therefore the direction cosines cosines of q vector or given by l is equal to here in q vector 
the scalar component of i cap is 2 so 2 by root of sum of squares of the scalar components of i cap j cap and k cap here for all the i cap j cap and k cap the scalar components of 2 only so we'll write 2 square plus 2 square plus 2 square which is equal to 2 by root 2 square is 4 so 2 square 4 2 square 4 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12 so we'll write 12 we can write 12 as 2 root 3 so which is nothing but 2 by 2 root 3 now this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and we'll have 1 by root 3 similarly we'll find m and n next we'll find the direction cosines m and n for the q vector so m is equal to scalar component of j cap is 2 so 2 by root of 2 square plus 2 square plus 2 square which will be the same so 2 by root 12 2 by root 12 you can write it as 2 by 2 root 3 which is equal to 1 by root 3 because 2 and 2 will get cancelled next we will find n n is equal to scalar component of k cap is 2 so 2 by root 2 square plus 2 square plus 2 square which is again we will get 1 by root 3 so if you observe the direction cosines of p vector and q vector they are all same they are all 1 by root 3 only so the direction cosines of p vector and q vector are same therefore the direction cosines of p vector and q vector are same so we can conclude that the two vectors p vector and q vector in are in same direction hence the two vectors p vector and our q vector are said to have same direction same directions question number 4 Find the values of x and y so that the vectors 2i cap plus 3j cap and xi cap plus yj cap are equal. Here we are given with two vectors and also they said the two vectors are equal and we are asked to find the values of x and y. We already know that two vectors are equal if and only if their corresponding components are equal. Here the corresponding components are x and 2 and y and 3 so the value of x will be 2 and the value of y will be 3 next question question number 5 find the scalar and vector components of the vector with initial point 2 comma 1 and terminal point minus pi comma 7 here we are going to find scalar and vector components and they didn't give vector instead they give instead they are given the initial point and terminal point using this initial point and terminal point first we are going to find the vector so the vector with initial point That one we will take it as P 
2 comma 1 and the terminal point will take it as q. q of minus 5 comma 7 will be pq vector which is equal to minus 5 minus 2 i cap minus 5 minus 2 i cap plus 7 minus 1 j cap minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7 minus 7 i cap plus 7 minus 1 is 6 6 j cap therefore pq vector will be minus 7 i cap plus 6 j cap and we are asked to find scalar and vector components so our scalar components will be Scalar components are minus 7, 6. And our vector component will be minus 7 i cap, 6 j cap. Question number 6. Find the sum of the vectors A vector, B vector, C vector. Here in this question, we are given with 3 vectors and we are asked to find the sum. So, A vector plus B vector plus C vector will be equal to. First, we have to add all the scalar components of I cap. Here the scalar component of I cap of A vector is 1 and for B vector is minus 2 and for C vector is 1. So 1 minus 2 plus 1 into I cap. Similarly we have to add the scalar components of J cap minus 2 plus 4 plus minus 6. Minus 2 plus 4 plus 6 into j cap plus we have to add the scalar components of k cap. So 1 plus 5 plus minus 7 into k cap. We will simplify now. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So, 0 I cap plus minus 2 plus 4 is 2. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. Minus 4 J cap plus 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 minus 7 is minus 1. Minus 1 k cap so we can rewrite this one as 0 i cap is 0 so we will leave that one and plus into minus minus so minus 4 j cap plus into minus 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 1 k cap so sum of all these three vectors a vector b vector and c vector is minus 4 j cap minus 1 k cap next question Question number 7. Find the unit vector in the direction of the vector. A vector is equal to i cap plus j cap plus 2 k cap. We already know that the unit vector in the direction of A vector is a cap and a cap is nothing but a vector divided by magnitude of a vector. So, for finding the unit vector, first we have to find magnitude of a vector. 
you already know how to find magnitude of a vector a vector magnitude of a vector is equal to root of 1 square because scalar component of i cap is 1 so 1 square and scalar component of j cap is 1 1 square and scalar component of k cap is 2 so 2 square root of 1 square is 1 1 and 2 square is 4 1 plus 1 plus 4 is 6 next we'll substitute in this formula so a cap is equal to or a vector is i cap plus j cap plus 2 k cap divided by magnitude of a vector is root 6. So we will divide each and every term by root 6. So i cap divided by root 6 plus j cap divided by root 6 plus 2 k cap divided by root 6. This is the unit vector in the direction of the vector a vector. Question number 8. Find the unit vector in the direction of vector pq vector where p and q are 1 comma 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 5 comma 6 respectively. Question number 8 is similar to question number 7 but the difference is in question number 7 they are given the vector using that vector you are substituted in the formula and found the unit vector but here instead of vector they are given the initial and terminal points using this initial and terminal point first we will find the vector. So a pq vector will be 4 minus 1 i cap plus 5 minus 2 j cap plus 6 minus 3 j k cap this is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3 i cap plus 5 minus 2 is also 3 j cap plus 6 minus 3 is 3 k cap we have found pq vector now we will find the unit vector in the direction of this vector pq vector therefore the unit vector in the direction of vector pq vector is pq cap which is nothing but pq vector divided by magnitude of pq vector. First we will find magnitude of pq vector. pq vector magnitude is equal to root of 3 square plus scalar component of j cap is 3 so 3 square and scalar component of k is also 3, so 3 square, 3 square we know 9, 9 plus 9 plus 9, 9 plus 9 plus 9 is nothing but 27, root 27 we can write it as 3 root 3. Now pq cap is equal to pq vector divided by magnitude of pq vector, so we will substitute now we are going to substitute magnitude of pq vector which is 3 root 3 in this formula. So pq vector is nothing but 3 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 3 k cap. So we will write that one. 3 j cap plus 3 k cap divided by magnitude of pq vector which is equal to 3 root 3. We will divide each and every term by 3 root 3. So, we will get 3 by 3 root 3 i cap plus 
j cap plus 3 by 3 root 3 j cap here 3 and 3 is getting cancelled in all the terms so we are left with 1 by root 3 i cap plus 1 by root 3 j cap plus 1 by root 3 k cap this is unit vector of the vector pq vector question number 9 for given vectors a vector is equal to 2 i cap minus j cap plus 2 k cap and b vector is equal to minus i cap plus j cap minus k cap find the unit vector in the direction of the vector a cap a vector plus b vector so we are going to find the unit vector in the direction of this vector a vector plus b vector but we are given with a vector and b vector separately so we will find the sum of these two vectors first so a vector plus b vector is equal to 2 plus minus 1 i cap this plus into minus is minus so 2 minus 1 i cap Scalar components of i cap or 2 and minus 1. So 2 minus 1 into i cap plus scalar components of j cap that is minus 1 plus 1 into j cap and scalar components of k cap or 2 and minus 1. So 2 minus 1 into k cap. 2 minus 1 is 1, so 1 i cap plus 0 j cap plus 1 k cap. Next, we will find the unit vector in the direction of the vector a vector plus b vector. For this, we have to find the magnitude of a vector plus b vector. So, magnitude of a vector plus b vector is equal to root of 1 square plus 0 square plus 1 square. It is nothing but root 1 square plus 1 square is 2. And next we will find the unit vector. Therefore, the unit vector In the direction of vector a vector plus b vector is a vector plus b vector divided by magnitude of a vector plus b vector, which is nothing but will substitute a vector plus b vector first that is i cap since we are having the scalar component of j cap as 0 we will skip this one plus k cap divide by magnitude of a vector plus b vector is root 2 we'll write we will divide each and every term by root 2 so 1 by root 2 into i cap plus 1 by root 2 into j k cap. Question number 10. Find a vector in the direction of vector phi i cap minus j cap plus 2 k cap which has magnitude 8 units. For finding the vector in the direction of this vector which has 8 magnitude, first we will find the vector which is in the direction of this vector. That is, we are given with phi i cap minus j cap plus 2 k cap that one we will take it as a vector so let our a vector is equal to phi i cap minus j cap plus 2 k cap next we will find magnitude for this vector so magnitude of a vector is equal to root of phi square plus 
minus 1 square plus 2 square. 5 square is 25. 25 plus minus 1 square is 1 and 2 square is 4. So 25 plus 1 plus 4 is 30. So root 30 is our magnitude of A vector. And next we will find A cap. A cap is nothing but A vector divided by magnitude of A vector. So A vector is 5 I cap minus J cap plus 2 K cap. And our magnitude of A vector is root 30. And hence the vector in the direction of the vector A vector which has 8 magnitude is nothing but 8 into A cap. In the direction of vector that is we have taken as a vector which has magnitude as 8 units is nothing but 8 into a cap so we are going to multiply this a cap into 8 8 into 5 i cap minus j cap plus 2 k cap divide by root 30 which is equal to 8 into 5 is 40 40 i cap minus 8 into 1 is 8 j cap plus 8 into 2 is 16 into a cap divide by root 30 we'll divide each and every term by root 30 so 40 by root 30 into i cap minus 8 by root 30 into j cap plus 16 by root 30 into k cap thank you students